Did you know you can use your radio hands-free? One of the reasons so many hams enjoy our Anytone radios is because it gives them the freedom to make contacts via Bluetooth. This is done with a Bluetooth push-to-talk button that comes free with your radio, and it makes using the radio while driving a whole lot easier and safer. So today, we'll walk you through how to connect your Bluetooth push-to-talk button to your Anytone radio. So first, let's connect our Bluetooth push-to-talk button to our Anytone 578 mobile radio. So this is a really simple process. Uh, there's a couple points where you can get hung up in the process, but we will show you how to avoid that. So first, take your Bluetooth push-to-talk button, keep it handy, and then click on the menu button on your radio and scroll down to where it says Bluetooth. This will be usually at the bottom. There you go. Click on Bluetooth. Uh, now this is where people get confused because they go into Bluetooth, turn it on, uh, which we, we will want to turn Bluetooth on. So make sure Bluetooth is turned on. That's uh, your first step. And then what people will try to do is back out and then go into Bluetooth pairing. Now, you can't pair this under the Bluetooth pairing section. It will not work. Uh, so what we actually want to do is go all the way down to the very bottom and you'll see there Bluetooth PTT pair. That is where we actually connect the Bluetooth push to talk button. So go ahead and click on that and then Bluetooth or then PTT pair, click on that number one and connect PTT. Now uh, about the same time you want to press the button on your Bluetooth button so go ahead and click on Connect PTT, and then we can press the button on our Bluetooth Push to Talk button. And then just wait a few seconds, the light will blink on your button, and then eventually you'll see it connect. And there we go, Bluetooth PTT connected. Uh, so it's really that simple. Now I don't have this connected to a vehicle right now, obviously, so I'm still gonna have to use this microphone. But if you connect the rest of the Bluetooth portion under the normal pairing section up to your vehicle, it will use the vehicle speakers and the microphone, so it can be completely hands-free. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to talk via the mic, but use this push to talk button. So we'll test out the pair real quick. This is W3AMG testing out the Parrot with my Bluetooth push to talk button. This is W3AMG testing out the Parrot with my Bluetooth push to talk button. There we go, so it's that simple. Uh, from now on, if you turn on the radio, majority of the time it will automatically connect to this button. Uh, now, as long as you have charge in the button, they'll turn off automatically, so you don't have to worry about that and you will be set. Now, if for some reason it ever gets unpaired, uh, just go through that same process. It's very simple. So now we are going to connect the Bluetooth push to talk button to our brand new Anytone 878 UV2+. Plus. Now this process is virtually identical. So if you did it on one, you will be able to do it on the other, uh, but we'll show you how it goes real quick, just to make sure. So go to your radio, click the menu button, and then go, uh, you can, I'll turn the volume down here real quick. You can go up to Bluetooth, uh, or scroll down through it, select Bluetooth, and then make sure Bluetooth is turned on, so we will turn it on. And then from here, back out and go all the way down or click up to BT PTT pair, select that, then click PTT pair, that first selection there, and then go ahead and click connect PTT and press the button here on your Bluetooth button and they are going to start looking for each other now. There we go, connected. So we should be all set there. Uh, once again, I don't have this connected to a vehicle. If you do, I would use the vehicle's sound system and microphone. So I'm gonna try out the Parrot, but I, because I don't have that connected up, I'm going to use the microphone on the radio but I won't be touching the, the push to talk button. So let's try this out real quick. Testing, one, two, three, this is W3AMG trying out my Bluetooth push to talk button. Testing, one, two, three, this is W3AMG trying out my Bluetooth push to talk button. There we go, how neat is that? Uh, so this works great in your vehicle. If you have this connected to your steering wheel, you can be driving down the road totally hands-free. If you're having trouble setting up your radio or you haven't received yours yet, click below to watch your radio's quick start guide. In it, we'll teach you the most important settings for getting your radio up and running. Thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems, 7-3.